The information on this video is not intended or implied to be a substitute for your IPT lectures or any advice from your IPT faculty. All content, including text, graphics, images, and information contained in this video is for general information purposes only. We are just students like yourselves and assume no responsibility for the outcome of your practicals or your examinations. This information is subject to change at the response of your IPT faculty, and you are encouraged to confirm any information you've seen from this video with them. Thank you. Okay, so step one of making your 19 temporary is having a good putty. So this is a crucial step in order to reproduce the ideal anatomy of the crown. So the first thing you want to do is clean off and rinse your type of well. Also make sure to clean out any excess temp material in the sulcus or even uh, underneath the teeth. You want to obtain equal amounts of white and purple putty material. Mix thoroughly so that it is a completely even consistency. Next, we want to roll the putty into a sausage shape and apply it slowly to the teeth, making sure to compress the putty into the anatomy of the teeth from the top down to avoid making any air bubbles. So do not press down hard into the putty, but keep a firm pressure on the occlusal as well as the buccal and lingual aspects until it has solidified. And we can check if it's become solidified with our fingernail as we press it against the putty and we receive a bounce back. An ideal putty should not have any voids and should capture all anatomy. It's easier to remake a putty than spend a lot of time reshaping your temporary. Sometimes it's suggested to relieve the putty, but doing so will alter the way the buccal and lingual margins look, which will contribute to more refining of your temporary. Step two, making the initial temp. The first thing you want to do is apply lubrication to the teeth and a little to the surrounding genital areas to avoid the temporary material sticking to the typodon. This of course is not done in an actual patient which produces adequate saliva to prevent any sticking of the putty to the tissues. Make sure to always bleed the cartridge uh, without the dispensing tip and a little bit with the dispensing tip. So in order to avoid any air bubbles, touch the tip to the bottom of the putty surface and dispense the temp material. Also, keep the tip engaged into the temp material when dispensing to avoid creating any air bubbles. Seat the putty with the temp material into the tooth slowly. Allow the temporary material to set, which takes about a minute and 15 seconds from the time that it is being dispensed. Just like as in the preparation of the putty, keep a firm pressure on the putty, but do not push down the temp because it might become distorted. After it has set, remove the putty. The temp can either be on the prep or in the putty. If it is on the preparation, slowly and carefully work around the margins with an upward force until the temp is dislodged. Be careful as doing this can often ruin the temporary. In addition, you need to have good hold on the temp. You don't want it going down the patient's throat. An important note, if you're having trouble unseating your temporary, there's a very good chance that you have an undercut. A good preparation lends itself to a good temp. Undercuts allow the temporary material to hook onto the tooth. This is both not ideal for you and for the patient. You need to be able to remove the temporary. So maybe going back and refining your prep will allow you to pull it off from the tooth. Clean the temporary material off of the typodont. Be sure to check under the gums for material. Practicals have been failed because of this alone. This is because in real life patient, it will cause the tissue irritation. Step three, removing excess material from the interproximals, shaping and polishing your temp. Just like waxing, recreate the anatomy of the original tooth. Remove the excess material from the interproximal areas and shape the temp so that the interproximal contact is not too bulky or too light. You have the added advantage of being able to make these adjustments outside the mouth, but make sure not to remove too much. You still want an ideal click when flossing through the interproximal areas. The interproximal embrasures can be shaped well with this, starting with the most aggressive to the least, which goes from red to orange to yellow. Fine polishing of the embrasure spaces can be done with polishing cuffs. Remember to air out any debris from the inside of the temp surface before placing back on the prep. If you have a slight open margin, you can use flowable composite to fill the area and then cure. The same can be said for any small voids in your temporary. The composite is capable of bonding to the temporary, but be aware that this is not ideal and structurally this is weaker. 